Hello everybody, what is going on? My name is Sam, or the Pyro Ninja, and we are here today to play some uh, Oxygen Not Included. So, <laughs> I, Clay, this is a game by Clay Entertainment, and if you don't know this, I am a huge Clay fan. I love almost all of Clay's games, and... I have quite a few hours in Oxygen Not Included. I think like 140 maybe. But yeah, I, I love this game. And it has uh, fully released. Fully launched. And uh, one of my... One of the guys that I watch and watches me for the Winsler. He is... Uh, he was currently looking at getting this game. So... He asked if I could do like a little stream to kind of show what the game's like, so yeah, I'm going to be just doing doing this. I don't know uh, how long this will be. Uh, let me let me see. I'm checking to see how many hours I have in the game. 148. So yeah, I have 148 hours in Oxygen Not Included. So I like to think... I play. I've, I've played quite a bit of it. I haven't gone far into the launch update, and also the way I play it is. I don't know. I <laughs> I'm not the best at it, but I I enjoy it. So we're gonna do a new game, survival, of course. We ain't no. So we're gonna and we're gonna go with the base world. Again, that's just because easiest option. Yeah. So this is kind of this is what uh, Oni looks like. Oxygen not included. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a survival sim, but it's more like an I'd say almost like an ant farm, but not really, because you give tasks. You just can't control people. Okay, so here is how we get started with. We're given three duplicates, or dupes as they're called, and we need to pick which three we want. We can't really pick them. We could just re-roll. Okay. Oh, that's new. That's actually very useful. So we can influence what we want to see, and I want a researcher. I want... A digger, and I want a builder. Those are the three that I really want. So let's see. So, interest of researching, digging, building, and cooking. That actually, that's good. Mouth breather is the debuff, narcoleptic, and squeamish. Honestly, yeah, we can work with these. I think... Vomiter, Vomiter, Binge Eater. Yeah, we can work with this. And then I, what I like to do is always just kind of... There. Perfect. So now, we begin our adventure. We spawn... Oh, we got some water right next to us. That is very good. There we go. Ooh. Water all around. And then basically you get started with assigning tasks. And just going from there. So first things first is always set ourselves to highest movement speed. And start digging. Really, you're idle already. Uh, can I... So one of the first things we need to build is a a water pump uh right here would be a good spot for a water pump yeah here's what we're gonna do we're gonna build that actually a uh, cancel we'll build the water pump here 
and then build some ladders. There we go. I don't like that location, that water right there. That's going to be that's going to be messy. Perfect. So kind of the main thing we're going to be aiming to do right now is uh build a we you need to survive. That's that's the main goal of the game. Okay. So what we need to do now is when you gotta go, you gotta go. So we gotta make a bathroom. We got an outhouse, and then also we need to make a a wash basin. So <laughs> I need to just kind of decide where I want to build it. I don't like having this water above us. That's a good water source. That's a good water source. That's decent. You know what? That actually can work. We're going to start digging down. And it's a 4 by 16 usually. So we're going to make it 4 by 18. Uh delete the bottom row and Excavate. There we go. And basically, we're going to be turning this into our bathroom. Let's see. Something a little like that. Then you can also set priorities on things. So we're going to be setting the dig to seven. Make sure that they dig out this entire area. And then we're going to build two basins here and an outhouse. That way we can get maximum sanitization. Because without these two, uh, food poisoning goes everywhere, and I don't like to deal with that shit. So we're going to just build our location like this. And as you can see, we can also pull up stuff. This place is filled to the brim with carbon dioxide. So everyone needs to go up and get oxygen. Because we've got uh, oxalite right here. That basically makes it so people can breathe. Okay, perfect. Destination. And to save resources, we're going to solely set the... Uh... Oh, no. Uh... We're going to quickly red alert. And just make that nine. Okay. Now we can go off red alert. Red alert just means that people can't do their duties. Just because bacteria is one of my biggest fears in the game. I hate dealing with the bacteria. So we're going to be cleaning up this area ASAP. And as you can see, since we filled it up properly, we get a washroom bonus. Or latrine bonus. And that gives us a moral boost. And that basically helps keep stress down. Because the higher stress people get, the, uh, the worse we're off in general. Let's see, I think... Yeah, they'll be able to travel through this, so we're good. Uh, one other thing that we need to build is power generation. Ugh, I don't want to deal with this. What we're going to end up doing is... That. We're going to build that. Like this. And then dig that. There we go. 
Oh, too much liquid. Sick. Come on. We're just going to dig everything. We're going to finish this. And then deconstruct that. I just want to be able to mop this. For this stuff, you can get it thin enough that you can mop it up. Oh, really? Oh, that's, that's fun. Okay, what do I want these fucking idiots to do? Because they are idiots. Let's mine out that area. Uh, you know what? I don't think. Okay, that was a that was a mistake. Uh, but now we can mop up everything. And basically, mopping up makes it so we can get a bunch of water. Come on. This is why you get roles like janitors. Because janitors are really good at uh, mopping up everything for you. So, and then once we get all these cleaned up, actually, uh, we'll put a bottle empty or right there. That way we can, you know, empty everything when we're done. Now that we got this place relatively cleaned up. Okay, bottle emptier. Water. So now people can empty all the water in here. And it just drops right back in. Uh, let's decide what we want to do now. We need to... Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Ugh, are we going to say that place is stable? Just to be safe, we're going to block it off. We'll come back and deal with that later. And then also we're going to get this built. Two batteries built. Connect those as well as... Oxygen diffuser and a research station. And then just connect everything and unpause. There we go. Now the little ants will just run around and construct everything. Now, I wouldn't say I'm the best at this game. I think I'm somewhat decent when it comes to the management portion. At keeping them alive. But uh, other parts, I'm dog shit, so. There, just have everyone rest. Uh, everyone's stress is relatively low, so that's good. Oh, look, a hatch. Nice. Ooh, we can also get some mealworm. Let's see, how's the oxygen going up? Okay, that's a carbon dioxide dump. Peachy. Nothing seems to be contaminated right now. That's very good for us. Let's see. So then when we get these built... What actually could be a good idea is... Going down to there. Because if we dig all of the way down to here... That can give a an escape for the carbon dioxide... Basically, carbon dioxide, there is a chart on here, which basically is 
air density matters. The thicker the gas is, it'll sink. So, that means we can set it up so if you dig lower, that is where the uh, oxygen wants to go. Okay, research. What are we going to get started with? Uh, I think the best thing to get started with is always... Uh, trying to get the advanced machinery. What is that? Rusty oxid. What the hell? Uh, that's that's new. Again, I've only played a very small amount of this post launch, so a lot of this is me going off of earlier builds. I have to say, the disease build. I mean, while it's good. God, it does not help my uh, anxiety. Because I'm like, oh God, everyone's going to get fucking sick. And that's a horrible thing. And it's like, yeah, yeah. Okay. What do we want to... Let's also build a micro musher. There we go. And then also we're going to set out a dig quest all the way out here. And you see, this is kind of... Okay. One of the things that I want to get... Okay. Ooh! And then, periodically, we get choices to get new duplicates or a care package so we currently have someone for building someone for digging and someone for researching so let's see uh actually We'll get somebody... Oh, done with the first part of research. And also, now we can... Oh! Oh, there's actual challenges here. Nice! Print 12 duplicates, build a great monument, maintain 16 morale, and survive 200... Interesting. Yeah, this is... This is all relatively new. Okay. You... So you like... You have an interest in construction. Perfect. You have an interest in digging. You have an interest in research. And you will be... The janitor. <laughs> Thanks, Stinky. Oh, fuck yeah. Cool steam vent. Oh, that's very good for us. Cool steam vents can be used to uh, give us water. Okay, let's... Let's dig this as well. Also set a mop quest right there. Furniture, we can make a water cooler now. Nice. I think what we're going to do is... Put that there, that there, and we're going to end up building a bedroom. Let's see. A 4x16 again. So we're going to dig that out. And then... There we go. Perfect. And then we'll be able to build... Beds. Or cots. Oh. Uh, let us set that direction to the left. Insufficient oxygen generation. 
Oh, that's not good. We'll say we're fine for now. There we go. Again, if you make closed off areas like this, it really boosts, uh, it can create rooms and that can really boost morale. Ooh, research complete. Let's see, that means we can make the big machine now. Uh, let's get started with, uh, I want to get, uh, vent meshes. That way we can... Oh! Fucking stinky. Uh. As you can see, these guys are a bit of a dumbass. In general. Like... Don't expect them to have any, like, sense of self-preservation or, like, brain cells. Uh, how, how weak are these wires? They can only run 420 volts through them. Or watts. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate. Let me look at my circuit board. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. So, power management is a huge thing in this game. As you can see, this is producing 400 watts. There can only be a consumption of 240 watts per setup. Uh Okay, we're going to deconstruct that. Cancel that build. Let's see. What? Are there better wires? I'm sure there are. Let's see. Uh, that should be under power. Yeah. Yeah, that can work. Oh. Oh, wait. That is just the total amount in the circuit. Okay, max safe wattage is a thousand. Okay, we're fine. I just wanted to make sure that we weren't consuming more than, or we weren't producing more than we uh, could. How much does that do? Only 120? That's not that bad. It's probably because we, it was probably going yellow because of our production. We weren't producing enough. Oh, nice, research. Now we can make a gas pump. Very helpful. That's very good if you want to do builds for, uh, shit, what's it called? Well, I mean, there's quite a di few different types of builds you can do with that, so, yeah. We'll probably go for an hour, I'd say. Okay. Okay. Let's just dig this entire thing out, and then that way we can just get a bunch of algae. Or, you know, just have them go on break. That works, too. We also should get working on getting some food produced. And as you can see, now everyone goes sleeps in here. 
And that makes it so that, you know, they're not sleeping on the floor, which is a good boost. We have so many resources. Dang, we're just getting started, so. There we go. Also, you can take a look at stuff like decor. And basically, the more things you have just laying around, the worse off. Uh, we're stinky. They're stinky. Uh, prioritize. Stinky. You need to be high priority. That, because that's your job. Let's see. Tidying. Also, I would say supplying and storing. Yeah. Ugh, I do not like the sound of the microbe musher. Never, never sounds good. Ooh, research complete. Nice. No research selected. So now we can make the ventilation system. Let's, uh... Oh! Oh, that's new. Originally, I couldn't use wood power. Oh, now we can make a manual airlock. But this is what I wanted to build, an airflow tile. That way we can get better oxygen flow. We'll probably turn this area into a one of the power facilities. I like to organize places by like use. Just how I play. So work on that. Perfect. There, we're also producing a good amount of food. Nice. Also, what else can we see about setting up? Ooh, air systems, that'll be nice. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, who uh, who upgraded their skills? Ooh, Mima. Oh, and she's our researcher. Perfect. There we go. Now we have somebody who can actually do research. Oh. Let's get somebody to clean that. Why are you cleaning that? Stinky's our janitor. Ugh. And now you see with the airflow tile, the carbon dioxide should be flowing down here more. Letting the oxygen fill this area up. What do you mean an unreachable dig? Fucking walk. Idiots. Ooh. Ooh, I just saw the flaw in my design. If any of these guys shit, that goes directly into our water supply. And Mima. Uh, Mima, just go take a piss. Just, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't trust, M <laughs> I was like, Mima, don't shit yourself into our water supply. We got to keep our bacteria contained. 
Ooh, another skill point earned. Nice. Okay. Uh, what's a colony summary tell us? Wow, that is... Good lord. Yeah, this game's gotten a bit more intense since I last played it. Added a bit more stuff. There we go. Meaning now we can properly have somebody dig out this area. Okay. So one of our goals is going to be we're going to have to wait for this thing to go idle. And then we're going to need to build a uh, water plant over here. Oh, nice. Let's actually, uh, set this up like this. So we're going to be digging this area out and building like a little, a mini water storage plant. Who's idle? Why? Ah, uh, yeah. That would do it. Uh, you know what? Let's continue. Hey, Winsler, what's up? Ah, uh, yes, celebrate while you're drowning. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. Wow, these people are all going to get fucking sick. Oh, jeez. You must have worked very hard to get that. Uh, let me select a new research. Uh, you know what? Let's get toilets. Actual toilets, not just outhouses. Nice. Yeah, I just finished, uh, summer. Fuck. Stinky's fucking sick. Oh, nice. Let's see. What do I, what do I need? You know what? Let's get an operator. And then we're going to go duplicate skill. Operation. Improved tinkering. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, this is oxygen not included. This is... Uh, have more... Damn it, two people have hypothermia. Oh, it's not actually too complicated. It's a lot of just, uh, you need to get stuff built. So you fucking just say, hey, build this. So you're like, oh, we need that area digged. Here, dig. Dig. Also, pause often. Okay, uh, let's actually get some medical cots built. That looks good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can go way more micro than I go. But... Yeah. <laughs> it's basically just an ant farm. Where you see, like, oh, cool, they're all going to... Oh, wait. Wait, did I? Okay, for a second I thought I got a noisy sleeper and I would have fucking ended the run here if I got a noisy sleeper. Noisy sleeper is the worst ability. Never fucking get a noisy sleeper. Because noisy sleepers will disrupt your entire colony. If you ever end up getting a noisy sleeper, just set up their place more or less. It basically makes it so uh, no one can get good sleep. It makes it so people will like wake up and be angsty. What you can do is you can make just a little bedroom for them far off so no one hears them snore. 
it's it's one of those things that you see it and you're like, oh god, no. Let's let's get that going. Oh, what do we get? Oh yeah, now we can actually make uh, proper bathrooms. Unfortunately, I don't know if we have the infrastructure right now to properly make it. Uh, but this place will become a bathroom soon. Actually, you know what? We can build our water treatment plant down here. See, look? that The sound of people sneezing? That's the same thing that happens whenever uh, people snore while they're sleeping. So it's something that you want to avoid at all costs. At least I try to avoid at all costs. Uh, let's cancel those so that we can dig that up. Because that basically means people can hear you sneezing or snoring. And uh, then they wake up and they're just tired. And <laughs> I'm doing very bad things to my duplicates right now. I'm just giving them a bunch of fucking hypothermia. But eh, fuck it. Ooh, we're going to put an algae thing right here. That looks good. These algae things can turn carbon dioxide into uh, oxygen. So, and this place is just filled with carbon dioxide, so I'm just going to try and do that. Ooh, no research selected. How's my, uh, okay. Also, I am going at... Yeah. Well... Basically, it's less efficient than... Okay, so... For oxygen, right now we have the oxygen diffuser, the algae terrarium, and the electrolysis. I don't know what this is yet. Okay, so... Algae terrariums consume algae to, and require water in order to produce carbon dioxide. Or in order to produce oxygen... And they also remove carbon dioxide. Oxygen diffusers. Shit. Clicked off for a second. Uh, oxygen diffusers will turn algae into oxygen. That's kind of the base thing. Electrolysis will turn uh, water into hydrogen and oxygen. And then you can actually uh, consume the hydrogen in order to create... Use that for fuel. So people actually have built... Uh, there is a design you can make that creates an infinite oxygen machine that, as long as you have water, it powers itself using electrolysis in the game, of course. I forget the design required to build it, but uh, it is... I know I built one on a previous save file. Unfortunately, I think I deleted most of those save files. That's just kind of... I don't like keeping around a bunch of the different colonies I've built. Yeah, but this is like the first time I've really played since a full release from the full launch. Okay, I need to decide something to build. What? Uh, this is this is weird because it this is set up in a way that is different than the previous game. Actually, let's just get a coal generator. Okay, what do I, what do we want to do? Oh yeah, water treatment plant. And by that, I mean just a fucking sewer. We're just gonna... <laughs> we're gonna dig all of this out and turn it into a giant fucking sewer. Yeah, that looks sanitary. So we're gonna take that, uh... Set that up like that. Down. Down. Remove that. And they'll dig that out eventually. Yeah, you can turn that into a reservoir, but also what ends up happening is you can, uh, here, let me get this set up and then I can show you the research. Yeah. <laughs> if we go, where is it, where is it? Here it is. Uh, a water sieve makes it so you can turn polluted water into clean water. So you can filter water and turn it back into usable water. The only issue is uh, food poisoning. <laughs> when you shit and when you use the water sieve, uh, 
the food poisoning is still there. So if you make it so duplicates drink that water, they all get food poisoning. So one of the builds people do is extreme heat. Uh, where is it? You can actually use... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Fucking... There it is. You can use this to basically boil... Oh, because uh, they're duplicates. This is the machine that they come from, and it just kind of takes a goo and creates them. <laughs> like, Stinky, Bubbles, Bert, these are all kind of pre-created characters. We see them over and over again. It's not like randomized names or something like that. So it's considered that it's kind of the idea is every game is the same clones being just created over and over and over again. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I've never beaten the game because for me, it's more or less like Civilization where the early and mid game are really good. But then sometimes you get to the late game and you're like, God, everything is dying. I hate what's going on. Uh, you can't escape. So one of the new things in the game now, uh, where is it? Where is it? Is it? I saw it I saw it recently. I don't know where I saw I don't remember where I saw it. Was it under reach? No. God. Vitals consumption. No. Pro Fuck. Where Where did I put it? There was there was something here that I saw. Oh, here it is. There it is. Yes, you can build a rocket for end game. So Right now, it looks like they've added in challenges, which is something that wasn't there before launch. So you can see we have survived 200 cycles, maintained 16 morale or higher, print 12 duplicates, build a great monument, and breach the temporal tier. And basically, if you dig up enough, eventually you'll reach the... Because uh, right now, you are inside of a giant meteor. And then you can actually breach it and reach the vacuum of space. Which I've done once. I've reached the top where there was a bit of a lore dump. I don't remember what I found. I found like... Like, okay, we can we can get a quest going. We can just set uh, one of our diggers up to the uh, stratosphere and just let them fucking climb. These little guys are hatches. Let's see. Uh, ugh, okay, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? I can build this into another water plant. Also, this will just infinitely produce water. Which is going to be very good for us. Uh... Because also, if we get them showers, they're going to stop bitching a lot. Yeah. Oh, what did we make? Oh, cool. We made a coal generator. Yeah, let's fucking destroy the atmosphere. Let's, uh... Actually... Actually, that's one of the projects we can do. Uh... Yeah. Let's see. Uh, where? Yeah. Multiple colonies. Also, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, deaths don't mean much, but I don't like to kill off my dupes. One thing you can also do is you can build uh, different types of rooms. Okay, so 96 tiles. Is our max. So we're going to build a 5. Okay. What's 90? Let's pull up my little calculator app. Uh, 19. Okay. That can work. 
Yeah. I love the. I mean, I've said I've said this before, but Clay is one of my favorite game devs. Just in general, I love the games they make. So, to see that they were doing like a space survival game, I was just like, oh fuck yeah. Okay, so we're gonna go nineteen. Yeah, that looks like it should work. And then we're gonna colonize that off. This will become a power plant. <laughs> I mean, if you want, I'd say one of the games, one of their games that I really enjoyed that I didn't think was too difficult was uh, Invisible Link. That is a stealth based, turn based strategy. I love the game. And it didn't feel that hard. But then again, I'm somebody that loves stealth games and TBSs. God. I refuse to get the uh, Steam or the Epic launcher just because I don't I don't want another launcher. But uh I'm gonna be waiting for Yeah, I mean to each their own. Everyone has their own preferences. Uh I can't wait for Grifflands to be brought onto Steam. Because Grifflands I know, but again, I've already built my setup around Steam, and the only games I don't get on Steam are games that like each, each I, IO games, where like not even Steam would host them. So I'm kind of <laughs> I'm I'm sticking more with Steam for now. But uh, Grifflands is currently a alpha on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is true. Uh, ooh! Actual achievements. I forgot that that's new. I think the main thing is I play the Steam market a lot. Like, I do the Steam trading cards a lot. So, I... I like having all my games on Steam so that I can get the trading cards. Uh, but basically, the one game that, like, has me tempted right now is Grifflands. Yeah. Because Grifflands is Clay's latest project, and it's currently in Alpha on Epic. And it's basically, like, a trading card... It's like a card-based uh, game. It's a card game. Yeah, I know. I know that's how you got Gungeon. Yeah. If you already have the Epic Game Launcher, take a look at Grifflands and tell me how. Y and if you end up getting it, like, tell me what you think, because I am. I've been waiting for that game for a while, and I can't wait for it to uh, come into early access on Steam. Oh, I should probably uh, get them making food. Let's make that. Get them to make some food. Also, pay attention to oxygen. Make sure that we aren't, you know... Let's actually produce some more oxygen. Uh... Fuck it. Let's, let's build another one. Uh... Boop. There we go. Oh, nice. I'll need to play that eventually. That was one of the ones that I hoped would go on the summer sale, but it didn't. But, eh. Say la vie. <laughs> well, it's one of those things like... I'm patient. I have a lot in my backlog. I have a lot in my backlog, so... Uh, I have no reason to rush into it now. I forgot about my fucking stupid Tower of Babel. <laughs> These duplicates are gonna die climbing up there one day. They're gonna be like, it's been seven days of nothing but climbing. I've shit myself 29 times. I love this. So right now that we're working on building a power plant, this area will just come a good power plant. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, we'll see. Uh, but... Oh yeah, I uh last night I just beat Sean I beat uh, Pirate's Curse. Nice. <laughs> nice, thanks. Yeah, and really good. I uh got the true ending where I got all twenty of the uh the dark spirits. Cause I was like, I should probably get this. Oh, okay. What do I want to... Ooh! What's this? A poke shell spawn. Oh, that guy's cute. The only the only thing I didn't get was... Uh, I didn't get all the uh, heart squids. I missed like 10, and I'm like, I'm fine with that. Let's see. <sighs> Which one should I get? Machinery... Let's let's get Jean. Oh. <laughs> oh, cool. Thanks for pulling up the entire wiki. Let's see. A job which can be turned in the line for steel production. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they'll come later. Right now, I just want to get more people. And we're going to get somebody that farts frequently. Hell yeah! Yeah. Oh. Oh. These are just all the achievements. Jesus, there's a lot to do. I don't know if I'll make this a series, but... We'll see. We're going to give her farming. Let's actually set up a farm. Bravest War- Oh, God. It's been a while since I've seen anything from Bravest Warrior. Yeah, I remember that. What was it? Bug Cat? Cat Bug? I think that was like, I'm Kappa! I don't know. I thought, like, the internet just loved that thing. It was cute, I will say. Been a, been a while, though. Okay. Uh... We'll deconstruct these and just keep on... We'll actually just cancel everything with that. Dig out this part and then work our way down. Oh, man. We need to make another bed. <laughs> ah, yes. Floating bed. And the game is basically entirely based on mouse. You can play everything with mouse. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably just go for the hour. I just wanted to give you an example of what this is. I was planning on, after this, going into a uh, different game and showing and kind of doing that. I just wanted to give you a good example of this. Hell, I might turn this into a series. We'll see. But, yeah. I just kind of I wanted to let you see what, uh, what this was like. You can also do farming, which is very fun. Let's see. Let's get some mealworms growing. Nice. Oh, who drew, who put the polluted water in here? Don't tell me. Okay. We're clean still. What's floral scent? What? What? What is... What? What is floral scent? I, okay. I have no idea what floral scent is. It apparently it is a disease. Okay, I have no idea how that polluted water got there, but it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Oh fuck! Some. I accidentally hit all. I don't think I hit all. Must have thought I hit all, but eh, screw it. Okay. Let's see. We'll probably wait for the end of cycle 10 and then we'll 
take a short break and be back with a uh, different game. There we go. You're all focusing there. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Priority. We're just going to max this part out. I want to see them finish this section. There we go. Oh, he is, he is the only one that can dig there. Makes sense. Uh... Let's build, let's build that so that they can actually do stuff. There we go. Okay, now we can dig everything out. There we go. And this area will be able to become a uh, set up like that. Hmm. Okay. There we go. And then we'll just wait for the game to save. And then we'll take a short break and be back with we're going to be doing some to the moon. Okay, we're going to save as, new save, dump 11. Okay, and then this will be, we're going to be doing a BRB, we're going to be right back, I'm going to be setting up uh, a new game with, uh, we're going to be playing some To The Moon, so people on the YouTube, thank you all for watching, hopefully you all enjoyed it, if you did, why don't you subscribe, and yeah, we're going to be back.